Ladies, we all know how much we enjoy treating ourselves to a day at the spa, but sometimes we just can't find the time or we just can't find the money. That's really more honest about things. But that is exactly why we're showing you how to make the latest pampering trend. And the best part is you can do it from your own kitchen or maybe your bathroom. Lisa Kazanicki from Arizona Spa Girls joining us with this beauty treatment. And it has to do with honey. honey. Yep. Honey is fascinating. It has so many beneficial properties, but the one that has to do with beauty is that it's a natural humectant. That means it attracts and locks in moisture. Okay. So that's why you see a lot of beauty products, a lot of spa treatments. Well, yeah, like the Burt's Bees does a oh, lot yeah. of lotions Burt's and things Bees like is that. Awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it has beeswax too. And so, yeah, it's really great. There's all sorts of different types. All right. There's orange blossom, there's clover, there's generic. I love the desert honey. Especially Does it matter which one you choose? It really doesn't. Okay. It just, as long as it's, I like the desert honey for beauty treatments only because it's a little thinner. So it has a nicer consistency, but it's still very pure and very beneficial. All right, specifically, what are we doing with this? We're slathering it on, or what <laughs> well, are we first doing? of all, you know, if you just want to go to the w good old wild oats and pick up something like these shampoos from Burt's, Burt's Bees, for example, full of honey, very inexpensive, really seven, eight dollars. You would think they're more because they have such great ingredients. and they don't weigh down your hair because it has the honey in it. Well. For our environment, for Arizona environment, no. Okay. I mean, some people do have hair that picks up humidity, and so you use actually an anti-humectant. But it really doesn't matter here because right. you need just, that moisture. Okay. So it's in skincare products. But yeah, let's make something. Um, you can make all sorts of things with honey. Hair conditioners. Um, oh, just But this is a, a, because it's morning, we're right. just waking up. This is a morning buzz body scrub. Oh, and I like you that. start out with... Two, I've already got it in here, okay. two tablespoons of pure honey. And then we have about a quarter cup of buttermilk, rich buttermilk, which has got that lactic acid in it to help slough off dead skin cells. Just that, just that buttermilk is going to rub it off? Well, yeah, it's or a it real needs gentle, a kind of a, expo yeah, we got more coming. Another agent, so, okay. Right. And then that, about a tablespoon of oil, I use... Mostly I use safflower oil in these, but you can use grapeseed oil. Safflower is really good because it has no scent at all. What's this? And this is an egg, egg white, okay. one egg white. So this means that you, you want to use this recipe up pretty quickly. You can put it in the refrigerator for a day or two, but the egg, you know. Fresher is better. And this is the, the magical ingredients is... Oreos, uh, crumbled up. <laughs> no, no. Coffee grinds. It looks okay. like Oreos. It looks good <laughs> enough to eat, but I wouldn't recommend it. These are coffee grinds from... Okay. Um, my coffee pot this morning and then this is wheat germ wheat germ is also a good exfoliator because it's very gentle all right and it is also nourishing too so we mix that all up this doesn't have that much of a scent so i always add some essential oil whatever i'm in the mood for this morning i have added lemon because it really it stays on your skin it's very conditioning that sounds great and it smells really good and you just slather it on your body you slather it on yeah this lots is, of information for us this is the this is what it looks like so. at the end yeah okay so this so is what we're looking for ladies just want it to look like this yep well if you want more information on this beauty treatment and others you can visit arizona spa girls and that's at arizonaspagirls.com you're going to find a lot of fun stuff on there and stuff that you can just kind of pamper yourself oh, with. Yeah. I love that.